This video is going to show you how to create um, a room uh, using the object of the wall tile that I've already created. So you can see in the video that I've got I've created four sprites: one for the bullet, one for the monster, one for the player, and one for the wall. I've also then created four objects that use those sprites: one called OBJ bullet, one called OBJ monster, one called OBJ player, and one called OBJ wall. So um, Game Maker by default. Uh, sets up a room for you it's called room one so when i double click that room one um, this is the uh, the current room there's no background on this room at the moment um, that will look at that in a different video um, but if i click at the zoom i've got the zoom buttons at the top here where i can zoom in i can zoom out i can turn the grid on and off okay there's lots of th different things you can do so i'm just going to just zoom out just so i can see the whole room i can change the dimensions of the room at the bottom here Okay, so there's the dimensions of the room, 1366 by 768. We'll leave it like that for a minute and see how we get on. Now it's important to note that um, you do not drag in sprites. So if I drag this down and I drag in the, um, and on there it's also two layers, there's a background and an instances layer, you are always working on the instances layer unless you are dealing with backgrounds. If I drag a sprite onto the screen, you can see it says this asset can only be applied to an asset layer and you do not currently have one selected so if you see that message you're dragging on the wrong thing okay so if you create a new assets layer you can see it creates a layer up here now this doesn't do anything okay this in game will have no, no impact at all um, so please 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 do not drag on sprites onto your room because they will not work okay so i'm going to delete this layer because i don't want an asset layer so what I'm looking for, what I, what I would like you to do on the objects uh, menu, okay, on the objects um, assets, I want you to drag and drop in a wall tile. Now yes, it looks the same as doing it the other way, but it's not. Okay, objects in game can be used. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use um, the keyboard and the mouse to draw um, a very basic maze. So if I with this object selected. Okay, I can drag on multiple objects if I want to, like that. Okay, I don't want to do that. Um, I can drag, drag on um, player objects if I want to, and I can uh, hold down the Alt key and I can just place multiple objects in the room. Again, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is holding down the Alt key, oh, select the object that you want to use, holding down the Alt key on the keyboard, and now I can start drawing the walls of my maze. Okay, so I'm going to draw a border around my maze. You can see that the room is not is a bit too big for my tiles. So I'll solve that in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to drag all the way across and then all the way up. And then I'm just going to create a very basic maze. Okay. Right. If you make a mistake, so there I haven't left enough gap. So just click outside of the maze, select each tile, then you can delete them like that. So I'm going to draw another wall over here and then uh, one coming up from the center there okay so that's my maze happy with that okay so we need to get rid of this so you can see at the top the size of the room so it's a case of taking down this value I think it's 1348 no 1342 so I'm going to resize that to 1342 there we go and then that's the, the correct size now that's only to say if you want to use a maze the same size as mine you don't have to you can use a smaller one or a bigger one it's up to you um, also from this point forward I'm going to drag in my player object okay and I'm also going to drag in my monster object just one example of my monster object for now okay um, one thing I will say do not resize your sprites from this window you can do but what's going to happen is when you start coding, uh, it's going to make the sprites act in a, in a very strange way. So I will show you how to resize the sprites if um, you find that they're not big enough or they're too small when you um, start playing the game. So if I run the game as it currently is, by clicking the run button at the top, you should be able to see my game. It won't do anything. It'll just be my, my maze with my character and my monster inside. So there it is. Okay, nothing happens at the moment, but you can see um, the size of those objects in game. So if, for example, I wanted to make my uh, main character bigger, I'll show you how to do that. So you see there's two tabs at the top, 
room one and workspace, go back to your workspace. Okay, I'm going to open up the sprite and not the object, the sprite. Let's click on the little white arrow next to sprites. Okay, there's my player, SPR player. I'm going to open that up and I can resize it here. Okay, so if I wanted to make this sprite bigger, let's say I wanted to double the size, that would be, uh, um, or let's say I want to make it uh, 256. Yeah, so I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to type in 256, so that will double the size. It will automatically uh, create, uh, create the height as well because it's the aspect ratio is ticked. Okay, now what's really important is that this interpolation, if you don't select the right uh, menu option here, you'll start cutting off parts of your character. So you need to make sure you drop the list down and select linear whenever you resize your sprites. Okay, so select linear and then click apply. Okay, now I can center that again like that. So you can see it's starting to blur because I've originally created this, uh, this image at um, uh, 128. So it will start to blur the bigger it gets. Um, but if I go back onto the room and I play the game again, you can see that the sprite is resized automatically and the sprite also looks bigger now in game. Okay, so I'm going to revert it back to where it was. So I'm going to go onto my workspace, I'm going to select that, I'm going to put um, 128 in here, 128, 128, select the linear interpret interpolation, click apply. Okay, I'll put that back there. I'm going to move my center point of my character into the center. Okay, so my point, my, my character is going to rotate around that point. Um, then I'm going to uh, play the game and you should be able to see that the character is back to its original size. Okay, so that's how we work with, um, with rooms, uh, dragging in objects into the rooms and resizing of objects.